What's it like to be on the campaign trail this year with your mother as a candidate and not just as a nominee like in 2008? Oh, it's so exciting for me. Uh, the biggest change for me this year uh, is that I'm now a mom. And so this election feels so intensely personal to me because I think about my children. My daughter Charlotte is turning two on Monday and my son Aiden's just three months old. So becoming a parent for me is the biggest difference uh, in 2016 versus 2008. Now, tight battle here in Ohio. You guys have spent a lot of time here as well as Trump. Very important state. I mean, how are you guys going to to win it come November? We're just going to keep working hard. We're going to talk to as many people as possible about what's at stake in this election, the very clear differences um, between my mom and Trump, um, whether we're talking about the economy. Uh, independent analysis have said my mom's jobs plan would create 10 million jobs across our country, hundreds of thousands here in Ohio. Trump's would destroy 3 million jobs, including more than 100,000 here in Ohio. So just keep talking about what's really at stake in this election and hope that will energize people to get registered before October 11th and then turn out to vote uh, starting October 12th through Election Day, November 8th. Here in Mahoning County, huge crossover from Democrats to Republicans. Unfortunately for you guys, you've lost some Democrats here in the Youngstown area. How are you guys combating that? Just reaching out to as many people as possible. Uh, I'm really excited um, to have met some of my mom's organizers here and volunteers who are working every day to get people registered to vote and just uh, talk about what's at stake in this election. And I'd argue everything's at stake in this election, whether we're talking about education or combating the opioid epidemic or uh, keeping our country safe here at home and around the world. Uh, uh, that yeah. res resonates here. Uh, you just touched on it, jobs plan. That's a huge talking point here in Youngstown. People that I spoke with feel that Trump just, they think that since he's a businessman, he's gonna bring in a lot of jobs here to America. How is your mother going to do a better job than Trump when it comes to jobs in the economy? Well, uh, Trump, uh plans uh, from, again, independent analysis, so not from my mom's campaign, not from my mom. Uh, various analysis say that his tax plans would raise taxes on tens of millions of working class families, including millions of single mothers. You know, I don't think that is a family value, whether you're kind of standing here in Youngstown or anywhere across our country. Uh, and I don't think that Trump has a very good record as a businessman either. So I hope that people would look at the different records of my mom's public service and what Trump has and hasn't really gotten done in business, but also look at what they plan to do for our country and for Ohio and kind of what independent analysis say really adds up in my mom's plan and what doesn't add up in Trump's. Opiate addiction, you talked about it today. We deal with heroin here. I cover a story once a week at least. How, how are we going to stop the, the addiction issues? Oh, I'm so sorry that you um, have to cover a story every week, and yet tragically I'm not surprised. If we look at the epidemic, it is happening across our country. Um, we also know there are some areas that are particularly hard hit, including where we're standing today. You know, we have no time to waste in responding to this crisis. So my mom thinks we need to do a few things immediately. And she said this would be one of her nearest priorities and urgent priorities uh, when she took office, uh, to invest more money in prevention, uh, to invest more money in training doctors and nurse practitioners so that people who need uh, pain medicine are getting it and people who could benefit from alternative therapies are getting those. That uh, communities are able to provide every person who wants help and treatment, help and treatment. Right now there are waiting lists across Ohio where people say they want help and there just isn't room in the local clinic or the local hospital. And finally to work with um, district attorneys uh, across Ohio, across our country, on diversion programs so that nonviolent drug offenders are being uh, put into treatment and not just being sent to prison. Uh, border control, it's a popular chant amongst uh, Trump supporters, build that wall. What is the uh, Clinton plan for border control? Well, my mom thinks we need comprehensive immigration reform. Um, and a border patrol or build a wall might be a good slogan, but it's not a plan. Um, we need a plan to ensure that we are kind of recognizing uh, our tradition and our values as a country of immigrants. Um, she certainly doesn't think that it's probably constitutional or legal uh, to do much of what Trump is saying about kicking people out or kind of just building a wall. Uh, it's ludicrous to expect uh, Mexico to pay for the wall. Um, 
but we do need to ensure that kind of work is being valued um, by people that are here and that we are always uh, keeping our country safe and secure. Um, that really matters to me as a New Yorker who lives a few blocks from where the bomb went off and the second bomb that didn't go off was found. So yes, it's about border security, but it has to be about so much more. And I think my mom is the only person who really understands that um, from her position as a senator from New York on 9-11 to being our Secretary of State. Monday, like we just mentioned, it's a big day for you. It's your daughter's birthday. It also is. the first debate. What, what, what are we going to expect up there on that stage? Well, I uh, haven't been part of debate prep, so I have no uh, special window into that. Um, but I have no doubt my mom will make me proud Monday night, as she uh, always does. That she'll be focused on the substance, what's really at stake in this election, whether we're talking about our national security or real immigration reform or what we need to do to combat the opioid and heroin addiction and overdose crisis in our country. I mean, any of the things that we've talked about that she has real plans on that Donald Trump either ignores or has only slogans on. I think that contrast will become really clear Monday night.